The information in this video is really important, and it's actually data Dr. Greger wasn't aware of up until recently. Now, since the groundbreaking book How Not to Age, we discovered the mind-blowing fact that restricting protein intake to the recommended level of 0.8 grams per kilogram of healthy body weight is the only intervention that hits every single one of the 11 anti-aging pathways, with some key ones being decreasing inflammation and oxidative stress, decreasing cancer-promoting growth hormones, and boosting NAD, to name just a few. But in a recent update, Dr. Greger shared some worrying data that featured those on exclusive plant-based vegan diets who were eating that recommended 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight in protein, but which resulted in detrimental effects. So let's hear from Dr. Michael Greger of NutritionFacts.org. Really interesting body of data that I was not aware of about impaired wound healing among vegans. And these vegans were getting sufficient protein 0.8 grams per kilogram body weight, but they were getting insufficient protein for wound healing. So those protein requirements are for just normal, active, healthy individuals. If you are undergoing surgery, if you have an illness, right, our body has to churn out massive amounts of antibodies. So if you are recovering from illness, you know, even during kind of respiratory infection season, if you know that you're getting an operation, if you're recovering from a tattoo, Anytime your body needs to heal, you may need more than that recommended minimum protein. You can randomize people with the cubitus ulcers, these, these pressure ulcers, to increase protein intake above recommended levels, and you can actually get improved wound healing. So that's something important to recognize for people who aren't just kind of normal healthy populations. Now it's important that increasing protein intake should be done only using plant-based sources of protein like beans, lentils, tofu, tempeh, etc. There's a sense of urgency in getting this message out as we're entering winter illness season, but also for those viewers who are dealing with an injury or an upcoming surgery. The only caveat is if you're on a prescribed low-protein diet, such as those with chronic kidney disease. But it's always advised that for those with chronic health conditions to discuss any changes you make to your diet with your health professional first. Next, Dr. Greger shares why some plant-based eaters are getting cancer. 